smile. Big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Hi, I'm Bounty Hunter. Baba D. Flat. Holy fuck! I'm gonna sell drinks in me. It's not wise to piss off a drunk old Jedi. It's about the economy of shield. Jesus Christ. I like my beans. Oh! There's still Sif out there. If you don't think so, then you're wrong. Cooking with fatty. Meat salad. Ah! Ah! It's funny if you think you could take mine from me. That's the guy that like dies and all the cakes fall out of him, right? Ow! Ah! 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 Fuck! No! Fuck! Stop doing full force! Juice. Um, what is going full force? That is where, and the way I define it, someone is treating it as if they're about to die and they are putting everything behind it. I love this video. Back in April, I flew out to Battle Creek, Michigan to meet a fellow YouTuber that goes by Battle the name Creek. of Airsoft Fatty. I'm sure you guys have seen some of his videos. His most popular ones are Fortnite Chug Jug Challenge <laughs> and When Lightsaber Dueling Goes Horribly Wrong. Watch till the end. Oh. Oh. I think I just shit myself. <laughs> Airsoft Fatty makes a wide variety of content. What you need is some turkey rate. or sandwich meat. Hover and hot dogs. One assemble. day he will upload meat salad. The next day he'll upload cranberries zombie cover practice one. Oh, 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 this is actually hey, a pop hey, champion hey. video. There is Please nothing that's off limits for Fatty to upload. Uh, with the exception of like, uh, yes, I, I want to be weird or whatever, dude, but I don't know what they're gonna do. I, I feel like the way he's positioned, I feel like he's wearing like armor. With the exception of like, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say weight loss, but he's even uploaded weight loss stuff. Yeah, 17. <laughs> this guy's unstoppable. <laughs> I was kind of curious about Fatty's life. You know, I'd seen his videos for so long. Oh. I wanted to know if he was playing a character. I wanted to know what he's like off camera, what he's like around his friends and family, what his eating habits are. I like my noodles to be a little dry. I wanted to know all that I could learn about Airsoft Fatty, and I think the best way of doing that was going directly to the source. It feels like the name that suits looks like it, a shit I've only hole. seen like, like I've seen shit hole. a lot of army vehicles and a lot of roadkill. So it feels like a battle creek. All right, we're court, we're we're calling Chris, aka Airsoft Fatty. Hey, this is Commander Six of the Seventh uh, Regiment of the Rebellion. It is day number three sixty five here on Cortosis and. We need reinforcements. If you can leave a name, a number, and a message, I'll do my best to get a hold of you. Also, it's not in a firefight that happens, but uh, keep it real. Peace. Record your message after the tone. Hey, Chris, it's Ian. Uh, call me back when you get this. Yeah. Something about Kratosis? <laughs> what was that? Now we, uh, we wait for his response so that we have an extra level of permission. Guys, guys, over. it's a 50 minute video. Not everything is scripted, dude. Like, if you're gonna say the joke like that, it, like, it, it makes no sense to script seven, shit like this. Uh, regiment of the Rebellion. <laughs> well, I guess we could just show up. I, I told him that we'd be coming, so let's just drive over there. As we were driving to Fatty's house, I fully expected us to just park on the side of the road, knock on his door, and have him greet us. Oh, hi, Dubs. Great to see you, man. How's it going? But it didn't go like that. It, it went quite Hold a on. bit scarier than that. We are here. Scared? Oh, my. Those are the boys. Uh, that is... I, I've never felt more uncomfortable in my life. Yeah? 
Try start the eight box to shoot. You got people that come up here like six miles an hour. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. Jesus. What I assumed to be Fatty's friends at the time uh, welcomed us, showered us with welcoming gifts uh, featuring beer, Fago, and weenies. If you can call any of that welcoming gifts. Oh! I mean, it, it seems a lot like, yeah, more like disgusting. or juggalo than it does a welcome to Michigan sort of gift. But I could be wrong. Welcome to the state where Kellogg's oh, yeah, comes from. It's a pick up. I wanted to talk to Fatty on the first day, but his friends would not allow that. They were asking me all sorts of questions about Filthy Frank and PewDiePie and all this sort of shit. How's your Felix in real life? Uh, is I think, he shorter I think than I think he is? Yes. I had to just <laughs> endure it. I had to function as the autism magnet. And me, Aaron, and him are autistic. While Dane and Dan <laughs> reacting to a 15 minute and video. Fatty questions as Jesus he Christ, them around what the happened to Twitch? Don't have content equals just watch video. Like the word here? <laughs> Some hate trash over there. Two MG midgets. Midgets? Grandfather left me this one. Just, just, just go outside, dude. The worst comes to worst. So to someone who will give them the beauty treatment and start using the shows. And then of course you got the jet ski. When's the last time you took the jet ski out? Well, it hasn't had a good start since 99. Hasn't been started since 99, is that what you said? Hasn't been started since 99. <laughs> and technically oh, that is outlawed model. An outlawed model. There we go. I kind of forget what happened. Turns out Chris was more than willing to share his life with us as long as we'd let him. He looks really he active and energetic for a size. able to sound like an old man who's reminiscing about the days past, while also having the imagination of a third grader who definitely just found a real life T Rex fossil. What the fuck? The hell? Treasure map? No. What? Yeah, my mom used to talk about how she had a few old codes for something big. Well, this is quilted cool stuff, okay. Codes? I just realized that now. Hmm. It's not paperwork, it's quilting stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's someone in the house who can enjoy this. Apparently it was up in the garage door. Yeah. Oh, that's a good cat. This here is the old fruit seller. Fruit seller? The difference What's the between strategy the scripted with taking one of your normal shoes social interaction? Uh, Most of them haven't wait. left their room in six That's months. Really it. <laughs> Thought maybe you were going down there. Oh hell no! <laughs> Even if the tires weren't there, it's basically a goddamn snake Let's pit. Let's go. Love you, Every XQC. Year. Breathing season. Who's even the one that said that? Garner snakes. Garner snakes? Pretty harmless snakes, right? Ooh. Michigan blue races, man, they'll chase you. They'll chase you. I know you. that for a fact. You've been chased by a blue. Yes. Bird? You know, my mother had the golf cart working. She started it. The snake comes out, starts chasing her. Yeah, she gets in the golf cart, ditches me all the way back there. I had to run the whole fucking wheel. Fatty yeah. won't shut up. He came in, he had both eyes of fat. They got stuck between the toilet and the wall. Bullshit. He had some woman that looked like she was in her 300. I've got my mother who can pretty much vouch for a lot of things to talk about here. You know, if you ask him a question, he'll go to the moon and back with stories. <laughs> and you can't stop him. But they have to first find a way to target it. And there's literally just about two feet straight away. <laughs> and then just drop. You can try to cut in there and he's like, oh, that reminds me of a new story I gotta tell you. I thought them motherfuckers were demon horses. <laughs> and then because both brawny captains on the field I caused what's called the marauding captain effect. Probably speaking gibberish for God's sake. Yeah, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going down within five feet. My mother's trying to hold me down. My legs up in the air. Go on, Peanut, because when she was born, she was a peanut. That's where I almost got actually eaten by a T-Rex. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, it's cheese it's if You're looking at someone who can go days without pissing and shitting. And someone who can go about a whole day without drinking. Really? And I only drink from beer mugs. You only drink from beer mugs. Or shot glasses. You do shots of water? Hey man, I just got the first paycheck. These are not shot glasses, dude. Later so on, we take these to five dollars as a thank you for entertaining me and making me smile every time you start the stream.
Later on, we decided to drive around and have Fatty Holy give us a shit. bit of a tour I've been of the stuck city. in this jungle you know, for 17 months already. I wonder when I'll finally get out. Battle. XQC. Yeah, it's really... Uh, Mads, you really love this love. It's super fucking loud. There were in Battle Creek. Uh, there weren't any. Not necessarily. There's your red roofs. Back there, you have your Night's Inn. You have your America's Best Quality Inn. Another Night's Inn over there. It was like... Just a shithole. Uh, and I'm not even afraid to say it, because everyone there calls it a shithole. Believe it or not, at least once every few months you will have drug buses going down the road for me over here at the motel. Drug buses? Yeah. What is that? You know, usual team they gotta call them when it's stuff like meth and cocaine. Oh, so they're the police. Yes, essentially. Oh, okay. After hearing a bunch of fatty stories, we started to notice that he has this habit of opening the story with a, a line that is more interesting than the story itself. Yo, Chris, you wanna go to a big party? Well, the thing is, think about it. Put the gun away, put the beanies back, I'm shaking. And I looked at him and I was like, I've never been to really any kind of party. Calling my mother as I'm putting fire up on the stove. I'm one of the only guys that's got a race mini van. I'm like, dude, it's like a Project X style party, let's go. Girl, she's like, burnt. So instead of just cutting to the chase about how yeah. his engine blew out after he didn't change the oil, he'll open it with, I learned the hard way that you get your oil checked every few months. Ah, oh, the noises! Now I, I, now I must inquire and hear this awesome story. You learned the hard way. Please. I had a 98 Ford Explorer, and you just hear, <laughs> and then it just stop. Cuts off, I've got my blinkers on, I'm in the other lane. Got people past me, what's your problem? I'm like, oh, geez, I'm burnt. This is something I don't get. Why the fuck they put a stop sign right here? Would you ever consider like becoming like a mayor or some sort of city official or something to try and make some sort like of change? I don't feel like I'd have the skill to do so. You don't think so? Nah. I'm not a very good people's person. I have a tendency to get really? stage fright. You know, crazy enough, I do videos, gotta get stage fright. That's the weird thing. A lot of stuff I do contradicts what I actually feel. But yeah, there's even times, like I said, where it's people I should know by heart. I even panic around, you know? <coughs> oh, man. To be honest with you, I couldn't hurt a fly. You wouldn't hurt a fly? I couldn't. Not even wouldn't, I couldn't. You can't catch one. There were a couple moments where Fatty and his group of friends would mention this place called Meyer. This South here Carolina. is Meyer. the Meyer. And I, I just thought it was a gas station. But they reminded me, like, no, this is not a gas station. This is so much more than that. And I was like, shit, all right, we're, we're really going somewhere. Um, it's just like a, sh like a slightly better Walmart. That was pretty good. We learned a lot of useful stuff on our shopping trip. I could do stuff like Cleveland Brown. Hey, got me, Cleveland Brown. Uh, got stuff like Elmo. Elmo says, Elmo says, <laughs> take another cup of gas. To be honest, I don't know what the hell Fatty was saying throughout the day because I wasn't with him. You know, I was I was around these guys. Autistic. So I, you know, if you want me to give commentary on this part, I can't. I can, I'm just gonna tell you it from my perspective, okay? Yeah, there was this guy we met. Uh, oh wait, are you still talking? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It was <laughs> the day was shitty. <laughs> yeah. Um, first day was way too much for me. I'm in great pain. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what did you hit? What happened? Roadkill? Uh, looks good. Yeah, it's fine. All right. This thing's was this thing tilted before? Okay, calm down, calm down. I'll be able to get out of here just fine. I feel like we're escaping. I'm like afraid I'm gonna run over a cat. Like for a minute there, I was, I was expecting one of them to like, sort of, just uh, autistically like go behind and like wave me through, but I run them over. So I'm like, I'm quite thankful that it was just a light post, <laughs> and not yeah. a human yeah. being or a cat. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> An actual windmill. On day two, we were finally able to get Fatty alone and have him answer some of our burning questions. Finally. Uh, tits or ass? Ass. Star Wars is a big part of Fatty's channel, so I, I thought it was very important that we ask him a lot of questions about why he likes it 
and why he feels comfortable swinging around a bit of plastic in his front yard. The Star Wars ones I fall in love with because I can easily just slip into the lore. I do not expect failure from my hirees. And I also understand when bullcrap gets set up by Disney. Mickey Mouse, woohoo! What's, uh, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Oh, that's a good question. Revenge of the Sith, very easily, purely for the Obi-Wan versus Anakin duel. Beautiful cinematography. It just, it made more sense. It was Star Wars back then. I met him at school when we were going together, and so we started hanging out, and he told me about his YouTube channel, and he needed a little help and, well, once in a while. So I volunteered, Mike. said why not, didn't have anything going on. A couple of videos down the line, and we made the notorious one where he trips over there by the trash can. <laughs> oh, are you good, bro? Ever since then, he's always hit me up asking for help with videos and other stuff. You were the camera guy for oh, the yeah. one? Oh, yeah. A lot of them. Okay. For a good majority of so them. So you're the guy behind the camera most of yeah. the time? Okay. Yeah. Mike is a very interesting guy. He didn't give any indication of care about what the fuck we were doing the whole time. You know, he was there for Fatty. And that's how I sort of got the idea that this is one of Fatty's actual friends. Every time we hang out, it's either talking about doing a video or doing the videos. So it's nice. that's cool. It's kind of like a weird production hangout kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. Mike is also a bit that's of cool, a pyromaniac. Though. What? There were several occasions where he made fires without anyone's consent. Still don't know what Mike sees in those flames. Thanks for circling, man. I didn't see him. So uh, you're not as into Star Wars as? No, not as really. Robert. I mean, with them, they're more of, um, they're hyper into it, I guess you could say. For me, it'd be stuff like Harry Potter, but I don't mind it one bit. Yeah. You know, I can get into it any day, any time. The Force is a weak institution under your side. Are you embarrassed at all by the videos you upload? Not exactly, no. Are you embarrassed by, I don't know, being into Star Wars as much as you are being a 22 year old? Now I've got my lightsabers, man. Why make a big deal out of loving something that people are gonna hate me for loving? So what, I'm a nerd. I like Star Wars. Holy cool. crap. Not even the force can lift that dude. This is an epic trailer. several laws of the new Republic Water. You would hear my sentence to death. How do you plead? Trial by combat. And the Force shall have it. Just no. calm down there, man. Madison, then explain. You know, the drugs couldn't be given to you. Death sticks that I can't read. All of it! Sean, now you're missing the finger. Oh, no! <laughs> Fuck, man, he's injured. Too far, dude. Too, too far, far. Too far, man. Why are you too far, dude? <laughs> Did it actually cut open again? Wait, yeah, so what happened? Sorry, I didn't catch it. What happened? Dude, oh, you guys don't care about the... the Dumb yeah, downwards. Right, Split open a cut ah! and cracked the inside of that. 
It fucking hurt. So would you say that was full force? No. No. That's not even 20%. Woohoo! Good job! Woo! 40%. Good job, Bobby de Blatt. Woo! We asked for a tour around his house, and at first I was expecting an uncultured mess. But after experiencing the tour, I changed my mind. You start by entering the house through the main hall. From there, you can stop by the dining area, or you can visit one of the many restrooms to wash up before supper. Boom. <laughs> Just a what few steps fuck? away, you can relax and soak up some rays in the sunroom. Jesus! Wish mother would remind me to bring the vacuum not so she could use it. Damn, this is bad. What do you call this room? I used to call this my smoke room for a bit. And then it kind of got turned into a random shit room. Then it became the cat room and... Every so often, mother and grandma tend to these litter boxes and they don't tell me when they need the vacuum. This is bad. I'm disappointed right now. I wish mother would have told me this needed done today. Yeah, like I said, I am not proud of this. Careful. Jeez. Yeah, oh. I'm not. Oh, oh, dude. Dear fucking lord, dear lord. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what time I have to kick that mother? Eat it. <laughs> so I asked her, I said, hey, before anyone comes over this morning, boxes need clean, what else needs to happen? I'll go dance in the grass a little. <laughs> but if books are more your speed, you can get lost in the sprawling bookshelves of the library. Downstairs you have the project room. Yep. And here's the project room where you used to... This looks like a rape dungeon. This here is where we used to keep some of the cats and oof, it got hard. What? Just to right. scrape off. Um, yeah, this is the worst part of the basement. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This one. You can get a shot of that. <clears throat> yeah, that's not fun. That is, this is not, this is not part of the house I'm actually proud of. Yeah, I get you, I get you. I do but like it's just a work in progress. Like oh yeah, before. I plan to get everything done. Like I said, work in progress. This is vile. Here, that's all it is. Oh, is this Sonic? Popsicle is going to jump through that. I'm telling you. Yeah. That actually, oh, we had Popsicle's to... going. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> If you walk upstairs, you'll find the lounge, which is the most popular place on the estate to enjoy some me time. You <laughs> 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 like a boss, like a, like a, you know, like. Right there. Like a cave cyclops. What happens when you milk your head? <laughs> Slightly longer than you should. Nope, oh, still got a little bit at the bottom. <laughs> Lastly, if you're looking for an adventure, the backyard might be the place for you. It's time to hit the mud. Hell yeah, partner. Yeah. And this is pretty fun. I don't know if I love this. <laughs> so what was your first impression, Chris, when you met him? Big goofball, to be honest. I can drive in a slider like that. Wait till you get her slightly lifted and get her some better shots. Oh, hell yeah, I'm turning this bad boy into an off road machine. This is called racing. It's an adolescence, it's just not, it's an apprentice. Woo! 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 I actually have a bit of a thing I want to do with it. I want to get an upgrade engine in it. A new fuel injection system, put some nice tires on there, and then finally get her a paint job. Get her. Where's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with him like he's a dog, dude. What do you think of the house we 
the first game to Fatty's house. It's a lot bigger than mine, that's for sure. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that the there? house is pretty run down. It, it doesn't look good, and when you go there, it doesn't smell good. It is very jarring. Cool. That's epic. And uh, <laughs> I wanted to know why the hell the house was in the condition that it's in. Uh, so over the years, it's just kind of gone downhill, especially after father passed away. We didn't have funds to sit there and just get every major repair we needed. So it looks very ugly no. right now. We're just now getting to a point where we can afford to get the talent studio ceiling done. It takes a few months for us just to save up for a small repair like that. It's as horrible as the house looks right now. This was not the original look. My grandfather back in the I didn't really get a satisfying answer about the house from Chris, so I decided to ask the owner of the house, Chris's mom. The whole house can cave in tomorrow. Yeah. I wouldn't care. <laughs> what do you love about Chris? It's not he's mine. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I just he's a sweetheart. He really is. He's got his moments. I'm not gonna say he's perfect because he is not far from it. Chris's mom has a lot of cats. I think it's about 30 from what I've been told. And uh, I think Aww. that's where most of the smell comes from. Her favorite cat is a one-eyed cat with a pink dress named Preston. Hope and a good girl. <laughs> She's spoiled. Do you have her ice cream cone? I'm getting it ready, mother. And only eats birthday cake ice cream from Myers. Get her ice cream. Get her ice cream cone. Uh -huh. You have to sit and hold what? the cone for her. Literally, no. she will eat the ice cream when she gets down to the end of the cone. You have to bite <laughs> the cone the around cone? so that she can get to the ice cream again. That's, That's unique. unique. Christopher, did you find any more blue in there? She likes the frosting the best. Um, Breathe it all trying in. to compose myself. I've never been around so many cats. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this scene to bring you this message from our sponsor, Raycon. You see, Raycon was the company that had the cajones to sponsor this video. This video took a lot of work to make, but we really enjoyed making it. There's, there's a lot of kooky characters. Wait, though, we didn't always see eye to eye on what was the problem. I'm honest with myself. I'm a large guy. If it doesn't change, I'm going to die soon, flat out. Being a little over 400 pounds is not normal. Weighing four men is not normal. Yeah, he's 11 days old there. And they say it's a pituitary gland problem. Guys, 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 guys. Why are you shaming me, dude? Why are you saying you watch a video for free content but won't run his ad? He doesn't get money from me watching his ad. He only gets money from his own ad, from his own YouTube an analytics. Not, not from fucking my Twitch analytics. What the fuck? I instantly cleaned the food and within a matter of about a year I was around 380. Going from around 260 to 380 is not fun. It's not at all. I used to eat like a full gallon ice cream. Lately I've been making good strides though. I've kicked fast food out of the night completely. Caffeine as well. Christopher has lost 100 pounds. There you go. Enjoy. You guys can help us at the cajones to sponsor this video. This video took a lot of work to make, but we really enjoyed making it and we want to make a lot more. One of the best ways that you guys can help us make sure that our goal is reached is by supporting our sponsors, Raycon Earbuds. You, you may have noticed that I've been wearing these the whole time. That's because I'm free to move around because there are no wires. They're wireless. Hello, hello. On top of that, the sound quality is good and they're half the price of other earbuds. Yeah your jaw just dropped to the floor. But in all seriousness, if you are in the market for some earbuds, these are a very affordable option. So go down in the description, you can hit my iDubs link, and you can go to that website, which will give you... Guys, what are you doing? Still watching this fast? Gonna buy Raycon slash iDubs now for 30% off. Go down in the description. You can go hit now, my dude. iDubs link. And you can go to that website, that to which will give you the good, affordable scoop. I want to emphasize that this is not lip service. If you get to the end of this video and you like what you saw, please consider getting a pair of Raycons because that's really going to help us moving forward because we'll be able to get more sponsors. We'll be able to keep doing it. And I want to keep doing it. I really badly want to keep doing it because it was a lot of fun and there's a lot of, there's a lot of kooky characters out there in the world that I'm itching
to put a camera in front of. Hit it up. Back to the reg regularly scheduled program. Fatty was very honest with us about his weight, though we didn't always see eye to eye on what was the problem. I'm honest with myself. I'm a large guy. If it doesn't change, I'm gonna die soon, flat out. Being a little over 400 pounds is not normal. Weighing four men is not normal. Yeah, he's 11 days old there, and they say it's a pituitary gland problem. I instantly cling to food, and within a matter of about a year, I was around 380. Going from 360 to 380 is not fun. It's not at all. I used to eat like a full gallon ice cream. Lately, I've been making good strides, though. I've kicked fast food out of that completely. Caffeine as well. Christopher has lost 100 pounds over this last year and a half. That's good. Just by himself. He's going to exercise without realizing he's getting exercise. Because they'll play out there for a couple hours at a time. And if you say, hey, Christopher, let's go out walking for a couple hours, forget it. Wait, so what about, like, you say caffeine. Do you yeah, mean, caffeine doesn't like, really affect your weight? I know, but I had to kick that because it was... My kryptonite back when I was doing it was venom. Black cherry kiwi. Because I used to sit there and get, like, three of them at a time. I'd sit there and go, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to drink all these. Of course, half hour later, I'm down to my third one. What was your first impression of Chris and his weight? Did it bother you at all? Or? No. No, I've always had uh, family members that were on the heftier side, I could say. So it wasn't really that much of an issue for me personally. Jesus, dude. He just fit right so in much weed. my friend group one. Just odd squad family, really. Hey, what'd you look at that? Fuck's sake, a little bit of cat hair. Best food on earth. Oh, my God, hands down. Fuck. That's a tough one, really. Steak. Steak? Yeah. Steak's really good, though. I stole, like, four on steak. We are making the steak. Oh, that was good enough. You ever tried quinoa? Uh, <laughs> oh. Looks like a piece of shit. Yeah. Why does that sound like a martial arts form? <laughs> True. Learn to master the arts of quinoa. I asked Chris if he could give us a rundown on how he produces one of his cooking with fatty videos, which are very popular, and he agreed to it. So here is an exclusive, never before seen look at Cooking with Fatty, behind the scenes. You're welcome. Thanks, hon. You said come here? I'm like, okay. Always gotta have your protein. Yep. <laughs> you grab your own. That's the best, smooth, frozen. Simple, easy. A lot of people have Is there a light in here? Yeah, they're all on right now. Oh, I mean in the kitchen. They're all on. Over there's it. Oh, okay. And then, of course, start the recording. So do you usually put a, like a GoPro on your head to give yeah, them a- Yeah, GoPro or I hold the phone. Well, welcome to Cooking with Fatty Life Hacks. We're here today to make some rounds. We're gonna make this kind of good. Because, well- yeah, He has this like moss on him. Everywhere. What is this? Feeling good in the it's neighborhood. And of course your boss is recording. So what you wanna do okay. first? Get that water boiling like everyone knows you gotta do. So I might even come up with a title as I'm going through here. Um, what I'm thinking right now is like, college food heck cooking with fatty, uh, under $5 meal. And of course you gotta come back and check every so often. Looks like we're getting to that boiling point soon. I don't, I don't, I used to be, I used to never uh, put in so much work into a video. Usually it was like, the idea's out there, let's chase it. Oh, I've got that spark to really put time into a video. So when it comes to nuggies cool. versus tendies, you're more of a nuggies kind of guy. Oh, hell yeah. You gotta have all your love for your nuggies out there. Came <laughs> <laughs> out so wrong. Welcome back. We had to restart the video for a second there because I messed up. However, we'll take a plate, drain that out. You know, I just feel a little heat. You take you know, whew, get it out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, put it back in, dude. Yeah. Alright. Try to shine these noodles to the horn. Yeah. Alright. Noodle line. That's how German noodles as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you probably don't think about this much, but a TV dinner and a pack of ramen. Not always the worst combination. You want to scrape in that barbecue. What are you doing? Getting the barbecue off the phone. 
had some stuck on it when I was on the thing. Now, we just tape all that junk in and go crazy like Katrina. It's flying everywhere. Now, of course, as Patty always says, clean up after yourselves. Holy shit. So there you go. Let it cool down. And of course, stop the recording there, and then I wait. It's really just a typical day here recording a cooking with Patty. Eventually, though, let's get into gourmet. Because after all, when you say it for lunch, it makes it better. When you say you like what? You exaggerate a bit, like your stories, or not? No. No. I, I do my best to try to keep it as an open book as possible. Like, it's like I say, why, why go out and just lie? Yeah, I mean, it's not about lying, it's just like... No, nah, but everything I talk about, it is, it's all happened. Chris has a lot of stories, you know, he's very much a talker. Oh, yeah. I guess for, for someone who's a bit skeptical, it's like... I don't blame people who are. Right, right. He's got a little bit of, like, flack online for some of his stories, because he'll exaggerate some things. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've gone places, I've done a decent him. amount of things. Yeah. But, like, I don't have, like, nearly the amount of, like, stories that you have. Why? Oh. Now up until this point, we've spoken to most of the major people in Airsoft Fatty's life. Except for one. This gentleman here. Robert is Chris's now ex-friend, who he's lightsaber dueling or hanging out with in most of his videos. Robert, he... he literally will go full force every time. I've only ever used like 40% of my strength on him, ever. What? Swiper! He seems maybe a bit uh, more aggressive when it comes to the lightsaber duels. Ah! Yeah. Ah! They've recently stopped speaking to one another because of some dispute with an airsoft gun, but uh, that's why we didn't see Robert for the first few days we were there, is because we sort of arrived in Michigan in the middle of this Cold War. Robert has a lot of issues. I don't believe he's on his medication. He has violent tendencies. Jesus. I would not be surprised if one day I did not find out that he has killed somebody. Damn. When we showed up in Battle Creek, we thought we were going to be able to film Fatty and Robert dueling all the time, interacting the with each other, but that just wasn't the case. But I was determined. I was determined to get Fatty and Robert to duel each other because that is some of my favorite content on Fatty's channel. I wanted to see it. I wanted to effing see it. No. So you're, there's no way that you'll... No, he, he literally is going full force. He literally treats it as if he's on an actual battlefield about to die. Right. Every time. I what try to a, talk to okay, him. Okay, so maybe oh, wait, not from a friendly standpoint. Switch position. What about, you don't have to interact with Robert in any way. We pick him up. We bring him here. Or uh, neutral zone, perhaps. And it's only a duel. That would be a no. And I wouldn't suggest you duel him either because he will hurt you. He has kicked me so hard in the back of the head with sabers and it's literally knocked me out. He's been told, there's that divot. That's not fused right. You keep hitting me full force back there. You're going to kill me, Robert. He had me in a video where I literally blacked out. The rest in peace, bitch. Like I will, fuck, I will do the dialogue with you. I'll fucking go out there and do what the dialogue the fuck? with you. Dane probably series. would. Very quick, no more than five minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go up. He's milking the content, dude. Robert's fucking door. I'm scared. Robert, how you doing? <laughs> do, uh, do you have time for an interview? Yeah, I'm currently watching Dog, but yeah. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Is she gonna keep barking? She just looking at me with her tongue out. All right, you know what? Yeah. Stupid dog. 
You uncle wobbered a little pooch. Get in there. At this point, Robert had completely fucked the mic. I don't know how he did it. He just took his dog inside, and the whole unit is just trashed. It's not like the, the, the plug just pulled out. The whole thing just doesn't work. Uh, but thankfully, Ben did record audio on his phone, so we do have some usable audio for the Robert interview. Uh, do you have any weapons on you now? Is that this one? Yeah. <laughs> the Robert interview was a complete mess, so I think we're just going to have to show you it in pretty much its entirety because there's very, there's a lot of moments. What's good about having Fatty as a friend? Or what was good about having him as a friend? It looks like making I had bad. fun kicking his ass in every white saber oh. we filmed. <laughs> when it comes to YouTube, being friends is out the window and I just want to kick his ass. <laughs> What would you say is a real negative thing about having Fatty as a friend? He's an ass. Then again, so am I. So I can't really say shit. <laughs> What's your opinion on Fatty's house? Like, the condition of it and just like... It looks like crap. Need I say more? I mean, you were just there Sunday. Need I say more? <laughs> hey, Robert! What pisses you off the most about Fatty? fact that he treats me like crap whenever we're off camera. Oh. Uh. How does he treat you like crap? Uh, it's a long list. You sure want me to get into it? Yeah, <laughs> just rattle them off. Just list Top them off five. real quick. Top five. Take as much time That's as you need. Nothing mentioned. I don't really keep a list. No. Just any. Anything. Off, anything you can think of. It doesn't have to be top ten. It could just be anything. Well, usually just after we're done, he just ends up going up there smoking and doesn't really hang with me to, to the point where I'm just playing video games and always getting high as fuck next to me. Damn. So what else? Kind of like poker. Well, <laughs> if you've <laughs> seen some of his videos, you get the gist. Yeah, but like you, you said that there's like a long list of like the things that he's done that, you know, pisses you off. Like, so far we've only heard one, which is, like, he kind of ignores you for the bong. Is there anything else? Because it, it seems like you're struggling to come up with, like, other... Well, I can't think of any on, off the top of my head. Okay. Like Fine. I said, I don't really yeah. keep a list. Okay, I get you. I get you. You yeah. don't start on, dude. Ah! Ah! You're still hitting full force, dude! That's what that the was agreement was you stop! If I had had to swung swung full force, his hand, every bone in his hand would have been shattered. Those were love taps. He may claim they were all full force, but that wasn't even close. I will admit, he has gotten strong over the past year and a half. I mean, he's gotta be pretty strong carrying all that fat around, I mean. What do you like about Star Wars? The fights, obviously, the fight scenes. The fight scenes, the action scenes. I'm a, weapon, I'm a weapons guy. Of course I like the fight scenes. Okay. I uh, mean, the fact that I'm making a homemade spear should say, should say enough. You know how hard it is to find a perfectly straight stick in the middle of the woods? You found that? Yo, you don't believe in force? I don't believe in the force. Apparently, Chris seems to think he's a real Jedi. I I think that's bullshit. Chris is a fanatic. Mm -hmm. I, I, just, I just watched the Star Wars movie for the fight scenes. What's your favorite fight scene? What's your favorite scene from Star Wars? Probably Anakin vs. Zobi one at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith. Why do you play with lightsabers at your age? I have several real blades, but Chris doesn't want to spar with those. Then no right, shit. But, like, you can understand why he wouldn't want to spar with real blades, because you might lose. Yeah, but it would make but it would make it more interesting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'd be able to make several viral videos out of that. Would you spar with someone using real blades? I've done it before. Oh, where? When was that? <clears throat> Years back, I think middle of Arizona. Middle of Arizona. Who Do you know his spar with? Who was that? I can't. I didn't get his name. It was just a random guy. Yeah, a random dude who was foolish enough to call me out. And you sparred with him. With uh, with a real blade. It didn't end well for him. So is he live? 
Maybe. Again, if I die, the world's the world's done, and well, if I die, the world's automatically fucked. So there's that. If I die, the world is fucked. What does that mean? Oh. That's actually a long story. Oh, now, crazy. Uh, six or seven years ago, I blacked out and learned something about myself that I really can't state on you. Can you can you summarize it in a PG way? Not really. It has to do with heaven and hell. Not really. It's PG. That's not PG. I blacked out. I don't have any memories from during that time. All I know is flames and insane laughter. Well, like, how do you know the world is fucked then? Yeah, what does that have to do with the statement the world because is fucked? Because the laughter wasn't my own. Okay. Oh, okay, so someone else is going to fuck over the world. It's not you. Well, it's me, just a different side of me. Oh, okay, so you're talking about your demon. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what's your demon's name? I can't translate it in human, but he's taking and calling, some, calling himself Death. Oh, Hence you, the reason you, I said the world's fucked if I die. Well, you don't need to translate it to human. Just say it how like you would say it. It's in demonic. Language. Yeah, it can't be spoken. Demonic. Okay. Well, With why? this. Oh, because you're set up. Oh, you have the wrong set of tools here. Yeah. You need demon mouth. That huh. human anatomy is not able to speak in demonic. I That's just the. I get you. It would sense. be faking. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Did you have another one? Yeah. Uh, why did you give out Fatty's information? Because I'm chat. pissed off. Okay. Don't you think that's a little rude, though? And in, like, you would want your info, huh? For one, I put my information out on on the about section of my YouTube channel. I don't care who knows where I live. Yeah, but you're no. not fatty. Like, just because you're okay with that doesn't mean he's okay with that. Yeah, and then he asked me to stop after after that, and I haven't given out his information since, despite what he did. <laughs> but do you think that was like a lesson learned on your part? Like you're do not you going to do that again. Yeah, do you feel bad else? about that? I might feel bad about it, but I'm not going to admit to it. Okay, well, okay. kind of. Did you tell people to like come attack him or something? No, I did not say that directly. I just said, "Don't get yourself fatty." Me and Chris are no longer friends. Oh, okay. And then the fans will get a step further and actually threaten the Mazel Tov cocktail his house and beat his and beat and beat up and go his mom. I didn't tell him to do that. They did it themselves. Yeah, but do you condemn it? I thought it was interesting. The fact that my fans would really go that far. I mean, damn. But would you want them to go that far? Not unless I really wanted them dead. No. How far would he have to go? Probably from my family. Okay. At, at that That's point, I'll, I, I, at that point, I'll, I'll, I'll hold her off, and I will, and I will end them myself. What the fuck am I watching? No one was in character. Fatty was Fatty, Robert was Mom, Robert. Mom, Mom. No spoils to the victor, and no fair maiden was to be impressed. He's crazy. This was a final duel. What we're, we're doing here is we're gonna go with Fatty's rules of if you get, you know, a hand hit, that hand is disabled, you can continue and with whatever means you want, you know, you can toss it, you can use the force, whatever you think you can do, <laughs> go ahead and do it. I remember, we're, we're doing this for fun. We're doing this for fun. This is just for the camera, so don't. Yeah, don't, don't, don't yeah, don't kill each don't other. Don't kill them, man. Oh, you ain't gonna do anything now? No, I, no, that just wasn't. You used to play vicious. That just, that just wasn't close enough for me to, to for me to react. Okay, no, that one was. Jesus. You want me to play vicious? I'll play vicious. Ah! Like I said, you want me to play vicious? I'll play vicious. <laughs> oh. During the duel, all I could think of was. Is this entertaining? What am I watching? Why am I involved in this at all? Why am I filming this? Both hands are disabled, dude. Right arm right about here. That's this one has my 
Oh, I'm just going straight head butting. Bring it. <laughs> <sighs> there was a point where you could tell that, like, no one except for. I was an head butt. Bring it. <sighs> There was a point where you could tell that, like, no one except for Robert was having any fun at all. So it was just uncomfortable. Right. Did you see that slash at the end? It was one quick move. You wanted me to play vicious, so I got vicious. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wanted you to play vicious. <laughs> but I make you fire. No. Yeah, that was a chest. That was, okay. that was a side. All right, one one. That was an actual play. That one one. Is it when Fatty landed that hit on Robert, I kind of had to do a double take. I thought, wait, what? Fatty lands hits on Robert? I really admit, you, you've improved since I last school, Chris. That's not that bad. Is it time to full force? No, please don't. That's good. Ooh, nice block. Oh no. Okay. That was a quick. Okay, that. Okay. Oh, like I no. said, I might have to get serious. Unfortunately, Robert got the final hit in. It was a good solid jab and uh, left Fatty winded for like a couple minutes. Um, but he was fine after that. He, he, he was very tough through the whole thing. I was like, you need any water? And he's like, <coughs> no, I'm fine. There was a very uncanny feeling in the air after the duel was over. No one really knew how to feel. Should Robert be glad that he won? Should Fatty be happy that he put up a good fight and the duel was over? No one really knew. So we just walked up the hill that we came down and uh, in parted ways. Um, as far as I know, that's the last time Robert and Fatty had seen each other or spoken. And uh, I have a feeling that that might be for the best. Hey, Robert. Good luck, man. Same to you. Remember, you all be, you'll always be a brother. Hey, Mike, hang on, I got something for you. Catch. You didn't reply, you ignored it. You're welcome. A they were childhood bar? friends, but friends grow apart. Friends can change. The Robert that Fatty knew when he was two years old isn't the same Robert now that he's 22 years old. Some of us have demons. Some of us have fat. Uh, I, there's no, I, I wish I knew a way to end this. If anything to close out on, the best words I have ever heard have come from the worst version of an old, old cartoon used to watch, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the most recent. The main character states that his father told him, when you want to cry, laugh. When you want to frown, smile. Because it's like, why go around feeling like shit all the time? Sure, you're going to have your days, but get up. Dust yourself off, for God's sake. We're humans. We're born to get back up. I'm guessing that most people True. would call Airsoft Fatty cringy, but what even is cringe anymore? You know, would you call the kid who needs more dedotated wham, would you call him cringy? Um, dedotated wham. Or would you call Sammy Classic Sonic fan who's screeching about the blue hedgehog? Would you call him cringy? Bring it loud! If that's the case, then is being cringy just having the courage? to put yourself and your interests out there despite what other people think? Because if it is, then without a doubt, Airsoft Fatty is cringe. He's a cringe lord. His channel is a cringe compilation. But I respect that, because there's a lot of people out there who would be too ashamed and too embarrassed to show people what they're passionate about and what their interests are. True. And despite what he might think, Airsoft Fatty does go full force. In his own way, he goes all in. Someone is treating it as if they're about to die, and they are putting everything in behind, behind it. it. That was good. Good luck, Leonard. 
Two minutes. Our trip to Battle Creek was extremely fun. What did you learn? And none of it would have been possible without Airsoft Fatty and his acquaintances and his friends and his family. I learned in this video that this is like a school doing you have like an exercise to do, right? After you watch a movie, right? Family. So a big thanks to you, Chris, and your friends and family. Go Thank you for allowing us to come into and your the things home you enjoy. and uh, being so hospitable. Let me hear your best little Anakin's yippee, yippee! Oh, do like a creepy little freaky little crab walk. Dude, you can't show this. <laughs> Movie <crazy>. magic. <laughs> that was really good though. I enjoyed it. It was good. See you guys, I click and click the bell. I subscribed and click the bell. Big yeah, yeah there's good take questions in this video, of course. That's really good. Did it. I, I didn't think it was cringe at all though. Thanks to Raycon for one more I think, month until I think he was good on camera. Jump. And he was really um like energetic all the time, right? And like into the video. And he was really good at uh, video. translating his emotions and, and his stories and he wasn't holding back, which is like very rare. It's kind of like, a, this is what I call like the, like the sweet spot of like making videos or making, uh, which also is in with streams, like, the sweet spot is where man, you don't really give a fuck, you just kind of put it out there, watching this man. you don't really give a fuck if you like it or not. doesn't even know I dubs doesn't really care about his life, man. February. Have we seen this before? I liked it. XQCN, XQCN. You good now? You gotta stop raging at me, dude? Good? Okay. Fuck. I just wanna rewatch one part. Well, usually just after we're done, he just ends up going up there smoking. I think of any off the top of my head. Okay. Like fine. I said, I don't really yeah. keep a list. Okay, I get you. I get you. Ah! 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 You still hit full force, dude! I actually wish actually I could not give a fuck as much stop. as this dude. If I had actually True. Full people happy. Thanks for the dog night. You said fifty dollars. You're fucking nuts, dude. Thanks so much, Dolly Nash. Thank you, thank you, thanks, Valentine's man. What all did? Those were love taps. He may claim they were all full force, but that wasn't even close. I will admit he has gotten strong over the past year and a half. I mean, he's got to be pretty strong love here and all that fat around. I mean, QCL. what do you like about Star Wars? The fights, obviously, the fight scenes. The fight Why all up? Where's that? I'm a I, I just, I just watched the Star Wars movie for the fight scene. I have several real blades, but Chris has worn years back. Hold up. Middle of Arizona. This part of the end is a different side of me. Oh, okay, so you're talking about your demon. Oh. Yeah. And human anatomy is not able to speak in demonic. Yeah, That's just the. Uh, I get you. It would sense. be faking. Okay. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Did you have another one? Yeah. Uh, why did you give out Fatty's information on that? Because I'm pissed off. Okay. Don't you think that's a little rude, though? And in like, you would want an your info, huh? For one, I put my information out on, on the about section of my YouTube channel. I don't care who knows where I live. Yeah, but you're what not What the fatty. actual fuck yeah. are we watching? Just because you're okay with that doesn't mean he's okay with that. Yeah, and then he asked me to stop after after that, and I haven't given out his information since, despite what he thinks. Okay, but <laughs> do you think that was like a lesson learned on your part? Like, you're do not going to do that again? Yeah, do you feel bad about that? That's crazy. I might feel bad about it, but I'm not going to admit to it. HDTV, okay, much love. Did you Only tell people to like, come attack him or something? Back back. No, I did not say that directly. Hey, sorry, just I just said, down with your stuff, Fatty. Me and Chris are no longer friends. Oh, okay. And then the fans took it a step further and actually threatened the Mazel Tov cocktail his house. And beat his, and beat and beat up and go his mom. I didn't tell him to do that. They Mazel Tov. Yeah, but do you condemn it? 
I thought it was interesting. The fact that my <laughs> fans would really go that far. I mean, damn. But would you want them to go that far? Not unless I really wanted them dead, no. How far would he have to go? Probably from my family. Okay. At, at that That's point, I'll, I, at that point, I'll, I'll, I'll hold her off, and I will, and I will end them myself. See, that's crazy. That's 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 just scary, dude.